right? Yes, and it's sir. by faith. Yes, you don't sir. have to yes, understand sir. everything, the whole plan. No, I, I'll give you this example. Uh, and, and it blessed me. A woman was praying, and, and God told her to go to the supermarket and stand on her head. Stand on her head by the Coke machine, I guess it was. So she goes there, you know, and she just obeyed, you know, and she's like, what? You know, but she, she understands the voice of God. And goes there and stands on her head, and as and she's doing it, and she sees somebody, you know, they're checking girls, all of a sudden they start crying at the register. She gets down, goes and talks to him and stuff. He's checking, and so he was planning on committing suicide that day. Yeah. And he said, there ain't no guy. If there's a guy, have somebody stand on their head there. All right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. so we have to understand. We may not understand the full, yes. fullness of it, but just be obedient. Yeah. As you're obedient yeah. to the first thing, you know, the more will come. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My God. Yeah, my good. God. That's good. That's all good. All right. All right. So where are we at here? Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, and so, so then it, it man talks to him and he goes, he goes to the river. He didn't dip three times, he didn't dip ten, he dipped seven times to the word of the man of God, okay? Be obedient. Sometimes we'll do it, but think if he had dipped four times and let, oh, that didn't work. Right. That didn't work. You know what I mean? Or five. He did it seven times. His deliverance was on the seventh time. It wasn't on the fifth. It wasn't on the third. It wasn't on the first. It wasn't just walking to the Jordan and saying, I, I, I was there. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we're doing halfway obedience. That's not the fullness. We need to be fully committed. Fully obedient to his will, to his ways. That's what the river of life is. That's when we're tied into Him. And a lot of times we're, we're doing things that's halfway. Right. So understand that with a thankful heart. Be thankful. Mm -hmm. Be thankful. You know, a lot of times we're unthankful for our bills or whatever else. But there, you can go to the hospital and look at people and then you're like, well, I ain't so, you know what I mean? You can always find somebody in a worse situation right. than you're right. in. Right. Regardless of who you are. So be thankful. And I'll give you another example. Uh, they were in prison camp in, with the Jews and stuff, right? And uh, they were they were there. They were reading the Bible and stuff, right? And one of the girls was reading the Bible and it said, "Give thanks in all things." And this this bunkhouse, I guess, had fleas in it. And she thanked God. She said, "God, I thank you for the fleas," you know. And, and the other woman said, "You can't thank God for the fleas." She said, "The Bible says be thankful in all things, right? I thank God for the fleas." And they realized that. None of, the prison, none of the guards would go into that bunkhouse because it had fleas in it. Right. So they could read the word yeah. and be open in right. that place right. and pray and do whatever they wanted yeah. in that bunkhouse. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. as we start being thankful right. for the situations of where we're at, God will pour it and he'll open up the eyes of your understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So understand that, that all things, all things yeah. work together yeah. for good. Yeah. All yeah. things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember that. Remember that during the week. All things. And ask God, why is this happening? You know what I mean? As, as far as revelation. Right. Oh, what do I need to do? What are you trying to teach me, Lord? What What is my purpose in this? So, um, so then he dips it seven times. And this is a good part. He goes back and he's thankful. And he's thankful for this. You know, he's going back. To provide, you know, for the man of God to say, here, you know, I brought this stuff for you. And see, my goodness, a lot of times we want things, but we want it for our own good, I guess it is. We, we need to have a heart that's, that's attuned and a heart that's thankful because we're just stewards of whatever we have anyway. Right. It's not ours. You know what I mean? It's not ours. I, I remember Brother Brinkley used to say, the, the junkyard is full of things that people have killed for. You know what I mean? That that's now junk that people have fought for and died for and everything else, and it's now junk. So this stuff is just temple, anyway. Right, right, right. So we need to get on a heavenly mindset to where we understand that. Yeah. Uh, but he said, but uh, but Elijah wouldn't take it. The Lord had told him no, so he didn't take. It. He didn't touch anything of it, right? But but his servant Gehazi 
says, man, he's missing out. What is he doing? This Syrian in here, you know, you can give excuses for why you take something or whatever else. This is a bad guy, you know what I mean? He's, oh, he, they've got our place uh, down and everything else. He, he's captain over them. So, so now he goes and gets two talents of silver. Now, sil talent, I believe, was like 75 pounds. 75 pound bags of silver. And a couple of garments, you could say Armani suits or something like that, right? So he's got Armani suits, a couple um, things of silver, but he's with the prophet, right? So, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's good. He's with the prophet. So the prophet knows. And then he asks him, he asks him, hey, where'd you go? I didn't go nowhere. And, and, and it kind of, it kind of, it kind of got me on this. See, he had gold also. He had gold also, but he didn't take the gold. He wanted the silver. He, you know, and, and that's what I think we do sometimes. We're, we're still in or we're doing something that's not right. But we're, oh, it's okay. I'm, at least I didn't get that. I didn't take it all. I took, you know, only a portion of it. You know what I mean? And, but stealing is stealing. Wrong is wrong, regardless. And we need to understand that. You know, that's what all this stuff is about. The bad, you know, we, we're cleaning up our houses. We're cleaning up our our houses is us, right? The temple of God. The temple of God. So so he, he halfway does it, you know? So, you know, they said if you do wrong, you might as well do it all. You know what I mean? Because that's the way in God's eyes. So so catch it and understand that you need to just be a vessel for him. And so he said, did not my heart go with you? That, that God goes with you everywhere. We need to know that. Sometimes we're worried about what the church folk are seeing. Right, right. But God is with us everywhere. Right. right? God is with us everywhere. So we need to do everything that we do unto the Lord. Right. When we're working, we need to do it unto the Lord. And I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm going to close there. And I, I praise God for y'all. Uh, praise God for y'all. Thank you. And I thank everybody for being here. And if anybody needs prayer, we, we want to pray. We want to pray. We love to pray for people. We love to pray for people. Mark 16, 17 says, These signs shall follow them that believe. Let's, let's go there. I'll, I'll just... Mark 16, 17. And see, you guys are believers. We're all believers here, right? We're all believers. Um, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall recover. That's our job. That's our job. That's our job. Yes. Yes. So if anybody needs prayer, if anybody wants prayer, if anybody needs anything, it's open. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. And I want to say how happy I was that people are starting to receive now, learn how to receive. That your miracle is not in me. Your miracle is right there. Have an expectant heart. Be ready to receive your miracle. Go after it. Don't, don't be laissez-faire about things. You know what I mean? And um, I wasn't, I'll just tell you a little bit. Mark 15, where the woman had her daughter who was grievously vexed with the devil, right? She went to Jesus, he ignored her. He ignored her the first time. You know, she, she went to him, and people would disagree, but I'll just say it. You know, she said, son of David, you know, have mercy on me. And see, she was a Canaanite woman, so she wasn't an Israelite, so it could have been like saying that she was something that she wasn't, so that I call it like a type of religion, pretending to be somebody who were not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pretending to be somebody, but then, you know, then, then he ignored her. And then, he, then she said, you know, that this, she went after the disciples also. And they're like, Lord, send her away because she's bothering us. And then so, the last thing is, she went to him again and, and worshipped him. Yeah. She fell down and worshipped him. You know, and, and then he spoke to her. He said, um, I'm only sent to the house of Israel, right? I'm only sent to the house of Israel. And then um, he called her a dog. He said, is it right to give the children's bread to the dogs? Right? Is it right to give it? Now, now think about that. If a lot of churches, right? If somebody was there, if somebody, a preacher, you know, people go to churches. 
hey, I went there, they ignored me. They ignored me, or the preacher called me a dog, or whatever else. You know, or they called me a name, or, or this and that, and, and they leave. They, they get offended that quick. But this woman said, truth, Lord. Truth, Lord. That's the truth. I am a dog. But even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So, your faith and she got her deliverance. So we need to start looking beyond these little menial things that the enemy sent in our way and start going to the to the level. Start seeing Christ. Start seeing him. Jesus called the woman a dog. But it didn't turn her away. It didn't it didn't turn her away. We need to start getting hungry for our deliverance. Hungry Regardless of what's going on, regardless of what people say, regardless of what's going on, regardless of what's going on, we need to get our deliverance, get our healing, get mad about it, get mad about it, right? Get mad about it, like the men who, who tore open the roof and put, their man, put the man down, laid him down before Christ, and he said, great is their faith, you know what I mean? Luke 5, 17 says, the power of God was there to heal them all. Yeah. Healed. It was there already. Right. But nobody was tapping into it. Right. Right. You be the one that taps into it. Yeah. Okay? Tap into what God has provided for you. It's already there. Get it. Get it by all means. By all means. By all means. Get it. Now thank you, Lord. And that's it. Praise God. been already designated for you. Your, your deliverance, your healing, your prosperity. Don't get caught up in what other folks say. Don't get caught up in the way that they look at you. Jesus told his disciples to when you go, he said, don't, don't be worried about their faces. So like y'all don't, don't know what as, as, as uh, teachers and preachers, what we go through when we look at your faces. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, y'all don't, you know, even, even to the point. You know, you, you, you may not mean any harm, but if you're just sitting there and you think about what you're gonna feed the dog this evening when you get home. When you think about, you know, I'll be glad when they hurry we get through. When you, you're thinking about I hope we get a chance to go out to eat after church. <laughs> and you just sitting there looking. And what appears to the man or woman of God is they're giving a word. Is that you disagree? You don't care? Maybe I said the wrong thing. And you just sitting there. But at the same time, we have to think about when Owen Mark. We've talked about, I think it's Mark 4, we're talking about the, 